You've probably heard someone mention the IUD or NIUD, an intruder and device, when talking about a form of contraception or birth control or a treatment of heavy menstrual bleeding. But did you know there are actually five different types of IUDs? Well, I'm Dr. Monica, board certified OBGYN, and I wanna take you through the five different types of IUDs. So when we talk about IUDs, it makes sense to break it down by the ways that they work. There are two general groups. So the first group would be the non-hormonal copper IUD. This is called the Paragard. This IUD does not have any hormone in it and it has copper that is within the body and the arms of it. And that works to prevent pregnancy by inhibiting the motility of the sperm. So that means that the sperm aren't able to move up through the uterus, meet up with an egg and cause a pregnancy. This is called the Paragard. And the side effects of this are heavier bleeding and cramping. This is what the Paragard IUD looks like. You can see the size in my hand and you can see that there's copper in both the arms and the body of the IUD. Now the other category of IUDs are the hormonal IUDs. Now these all have the same hormone which is a progesterone hormone called levonorgestrel. They each have a different amount of the hormone and secrete a different amount of the hormone. So let's start at the top, the one with the most amount of hormone and the most amount of secretion. This is called a Mirena IUD. This has 52 milligrams of levonorgestrel and it secretes that hormone at 20 micrograms a day. This is the approximate size of the Mirena IUD, as you can see it up against my hand. This is the body where the hormone is kept and these are the arms. There's no hormone in the arms of this IUD. Now a similar IUD to this is the Liletta. The Liletta is the exact same size, same size as this. It has the same amount of hormone. It has 52 milligrams of levonorgestrel, but it does secrete it at a slightly lower amount in that it secretes it at 18.6 micrograms a day. Now both the Mirena and the Liletta can be used for eight years for contraception, and they work for treating menstrual bleeding for anywhere from five to eight years. The next type of IUD secretes the same hormone, and this is called a Kylena. Kylena is gonna have that same levonorgestrel. It has 19.5 milligrams within the IUD itself, and it secretes it at 17.5 micrograms a day. Now the Kylena is very slightly smaller than the Mirena or the Liletta IUD. The difference is so small that you can barely see it with your eye. Now this IUD can be used for five years at the most, at which time it would need to be removed. The final IUD is called a Skyla. Skyla is the smallest IUD with the lowest amount of hormone and the lowest amount of secretion. So the Skyla has 13.5 milligrams of levonorgestrel and it secretes it at 14 micrograms a day. This IUD is good for three years before it needs to be removed and replaced to continue to be effective for contraception. So those are the five different types of IUDs. That's just a very general rundown. For more details, I do have another video with more pros, cons, details, and research supported evidence and details about the IUDs. You're welcome to check that on my channel as well. Stay well and see you next time.